2021 was a fantastic season for Russian Daniil Medvedev. He led his country to Davis Cup victory, won his first Grand Slam title, and came close to pushing Novak Djokovic for the year-end number one spot. In an earlier video, we explained just how close he came to toppling the Serbian. Much is made of his unorthodox ground strokes. With unique variety on his forehand and an aggressive flat backhand, Medvedev has the ability to manoeuvre his opponents at will, as well as having the strength to hit winners from anywhere on the court. In 2021, he's also proven he possesses the ruthlessness of a champion. But in this video, we'll look at how Medvedev's ability to disguise his serve is his most effective weapon. Often described as awkward and robotic, the Medvedev serve is a seriously potent weapon. In 2021, Medvedev won an incredible 81% of first serve points from the advantage side, more than any of his closest adversaries. He also won 57% of the 0-4 shot rallies behind his serve, a great indicator of the effectiveness of his first serve. Winning as many points as he does from the advantage side is significant, as most break points are defended from this side. In the 2021 season, Medvedev saved 73% of break points on his first serve, 6% more than both Zverev and Tsitsipas, with Djokovic topping the table with an incredible 76% saved. The reason behind the Russian's effectiveness is essentially his unpredictability, best demonstrated in the summer of 2019 when Medvedev reached six back-to-back -back finals. Then the talking point was the Russian's serve and his fearlessness when hitting two first serves instead of a second. Against Djokovic in the Cincinnati semi-final, Medvedev found himself a set down and started hitting colossal second serves in an attempt to unsettle Djokovic, clocking second serves at 120 miles per hour. According to Hawkeye data, his average second serve speed increased by 11 miles per hour over the course of that second and third set. And although the changes in speed and aggressive tactics on serve are clear to see, what's less evident to the eye is the disguise he puts on the serve. Studying Medvedev's ball toss, and we can see the spread of his contact points. From the advantage side, his spread is almost two meters from left to right. Throw in some underarm serves as well, and trying to get any rhythm on return becomes virtually impossible. But what makes his serve so hard to read is the fact that his ball toss has seemingly no correlation with his service direction. For example, you would expect that tossing the ball to the right would favor a T-serve, and that a ball toss to the left would aid a wide serve, but that isn't necessarily the case. Upon reviewing Medvedev's run to the US Open final in 2021 and his subsequent success, we see how he looked to mix it up on the advantage side. This cunning was most notable in his semi-final matchup against Felix Auger Aliassime. We can see an example of the spread by plotting his contact points as well as service direction from that first set. These clips also highlight the range Medvedev has with his ball toss. His ball toss is much closer to the center line on the left, which is more typical of a T-serve but on the right the ball tosses further to the left and would indicate a wide serve with spin, but both serves go down the tee. Compare this to his two wide serves. On the left, a higher ball toss with the ball being placed above his base and on the right, a lower ball toss set out to the right, similar to the first serve we looked at, but this time both serves go wide. It's often thought that the key to a good serve is a consistent ball toss, but Medvedev is the exception. You'd be mistaken for thinking that this inconsistency would affect his accuracy. Taking data from an on-air Hawkeye graphic during the Tour Finals in Turin, and it appears to have no detrimental effect on his service accuracy, with 70% of his ad serves landing within two feet of the lines. For context, that's 22% more than Zverev, 7% more than Tsitsipas, and 2% more than Djokovic. Medvedev has many great qualities, but his combination of unpredictability and pinpoint execution on serve has placed him ahead of the chasing pack, and 2022 could yet again see him challenge Novak Djokovic as the best player in the world. If you enjoyed this video, you can find it and other content just like it on Popcorn Tennis. Popcorn Tennis is the home to diverse tennis content, from opinion pieces to statistical analysis and everything in between. You can find them at popcorntennis.com and if you'd like to be a contributor, then drop an email to the address below.